Hey guys, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, I'm gonna show you if how to today we're gonna perform for how to retiming of injection pump of 3406 b 1991 model. Uh, sorry about this because right now I'm gonna use uh, sec my second language English because some of my other followers or some of my other viewers if we write on the comment it's why I why I why I not use my English language maybe we use my English language so everybody's benefit so I use this one but I'm sorry about that yeah because I'm not a good speaking English yeah so right now guys uh, I, I already set on the before you go retiming on this injection pump much bit uh, you do first uh, we need to tap the center number one of the cylinder I gonna show you up how if you see this uh, post rod guys uh, number one actually I already put on the top dead center you see the post rod on here is it's moving both both valve and taking X out it means you are already on the top dead center number one because on the running mate of number six like that on the end of this motor on the valve you didn't uh, the push rod is is not pre pre play so it means you already on the number one so and i put some <coughs> pin i already put on the pin at this side so i'm gonna show you <coughs> this right side okay yeah if you see this <coughs> This is a uh, already put on. So how big? How long? So like that long. End to end. See? It means already lock at number one. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you at number six. If number six here guys so the push rod is not properly unlike out unlike up number one yeah see did you hear that this is a number one so both valve are loose like that the push rod it means you are already on the top dead center number one so let's go to retiming of injection pump of course guys the first thing is you need to take the cover this cover at the front this is a cover of injection pump front and this is this is my injection pump so we need to take this cover first I already removed all the nuts so because it's sticky so we need the uh, applying uh, force yeah don't worry about the gaskets broken because this is a cover only so it's good for the silicone or if you have a spare gasket much better okay mga paps tanggal na natin Okay, uh, this, this is your, uh, uh, this is your timing balancer, so always don't, always don't touch on this big Jonathan screw because this is your advanced retarded setting, so if you touch this one, maybe, maybe, if you turn that one, we make it 
advance on clockwise if you turn in counterclockwise you make a retarded so so i advise don't touch this one because it's already sitting so take only bolt on here this is a 916 head so how one two three four five six seven eight this is only eight bolt to talk this one and you already turn it on the shop of this injection pump so let's let's talk this bolt okay guys uh one more thing because i have a uh, one more read uh comment below on some my other video he said uh what happened if oil and diesel is mixing on the motor uh what is the causes of probably cause because it to me uh the injector is good the oil fuel line is good so no other than we it where what's what happened so uh i suggest talk this one remove your injection pump because be the probably cause it's inside on here at the front of your seal of injection pump so always happen like that so yeah if your if your oil and diesel is mixing in the motor and the oil pan yeah it, it goes like that so your seal at the front it's broke on this so remove this one okay guys let's do that okay, mga pups, uh, I try to I already lost all this bolt, so let's try to remove. See, uh, this is only eight bolt. So it's too noise on this my workshop so yeah because everybody is busy okay guys be when you remove this be careful yeah, just only applying shaking and pull All right. <coughs> see uh, always put on the clean Rug, so yeah, hold on. So, this is the right time you're turning this spline shop on this injection pump. So, yeah, turning this until yeah, turning this until we, we put a base slot on this timing board timing pin okay yeah apply pressure during your turning this to make sure you you put on here it's properly okay uh, and one of my advice don't turn this using a metal metal pipe like flyer or anything because if you use a kind of metal maybe you can damage this spline on this spline so to keep avoid damage use anyone for me i always use a filter range belt okay guys uh, let's watch this Yeah, it's hard to turning this one if you're using your hand only. So we need some tools, good tools for this. <coughs> yeah, guys, it's just pumasok na yung bulbate.
always check like this alright mga paps na ipasok na po natin yung pin bolt natin dito so let's watch check so ito po already put in so it's what so see yeah it's hard to see that but yeah it's using this my pin timing yeah it's already put on yeah so don't don't turn your motor if the pin is already there because maybe you already broke your whole injection pump okay so i already put in so put it back the <coughs> timing advance that's what
Okay guys, we need for it back. I use I use this screw. But it's hard. Yeah. I use this screw to make sure it's already aligned on the hole. Yeah. And yeah. Always say that don't do not touch on this one because this is your this this big nut and this a little screw inside this is your adjustment for advance in leak for the POL yeah. right now I didn't touch that one because it's already sitting so yeah that's only retirement for injection pump we do that okay guys but yeah it's, I did it okay so always use the screw to make sure it's aligned on the whole bolt so let's try to put on the bolt okay it's good so put 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 it all bolts put on All right. Uh, this is, that's not easy to retiming on injection pump. Yeah, that's it. The first thing. Again, the first thing you do that. We need top dead center on number one. Okay. We need top dead center on number one, and use the pin, timing pin bolt hole, located at the right side or left side. See, I already teach you on my beginning of this video and make sure this top dead center is number one how do you check that one because if you put in the timing hole without checking your bulb you don't sure if this is maybe number six or number one of top dead center top dead center so make sure remove the bulb cover and check the pre play on on the bulb make sure always i tell you how do you know if the number one is top dead center uh check your the check the running meet of number one what's the running meet number six so uh, i the the play on the bulb is beginning of intake and of exhaust yeah both bulb is the same heights so this it means the running meet is already on top dead center number one okay and so if you're already top dead center number one re remove this one uh this one okay uh, yeah and, and if you see this one guys yeah i'll do that okay and always put the timing bolt on this injection pump side and do not remove this until you done until you're not done on this front until all the bolt is tight so if all the bolt is tight so you already pre to go to remove this pin so it means you already timing that yeah hey guys uh we hope you understand my video and i'm sorry for my language it's not good yeah but yeah but i didn't <laughs> okay can you give me a thumbs like this and hit my bell button thank you so much guys that's an easy for uh, the timing of injection pump of 3406B. This is old mo this is a old motor. I like old motor. 
than the new motor. You guys, thank you so much. We hope you have a good day.